They, what they have created is a market for crazy. I'm not afraid of the coronavirus and no one else should be that afraid either. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. It's a virus like the flu. They become unhinged from the facts. It is very, very difficult to contract this virus. It's actually the safest time to fly. It is possible, in fact, that this vaccine is more dangerous than they're indicating it is. They've worked out that you can just make stuff up. By having total population isolation, we are preventing natural immunity from developing. If vaccines work, why are vaccinated people still banned from living normal lives? So maybe it doesn't work and they're simply not telling you that. So exacerbating the divisions that already exist in American society and undermine the trust Americans have in their democratic institutions. Now, that, that's the, that was the objective of the Russian disinformation campaign. So is Fox News helping Russia? They might as well be. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Former Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull is obviously not a fan of native Australian Rupert Murdoch and not a fan of the Murdoch media empire. According to Turnbull, Murdoch's companies, including Fox News, have divided America and created a post-factual world. It's a world where there's no objective truth or agreed upon reality. Turnbull is correct. And the situation is even more dangerous and threatening than it sounds. When Fox News parroted Donald Trump's early talking points about the coronavirus and questioned the need for masks and social distancing, Fox News helped infect hundreds of thousands of people whose lives might have otherwise been saved. Now that Fox News is leading the skepticism of the coronavirus vaccine, Fox is endangering hundreds of thousands of more people. It's the kind of self-inflicted carnage in the United States that Russia and other U.S. adversaries could have only dreamt about. But instead of Russian agents infiltrating the United States or Russian hackers messing with our information systems, which they have, there is Fox News. And never mind the clown shows like Fox and Friends or the primetime nutcase hours, even the so-called straight news programming on Fox is biased and driven by a divisive partisan agenda. Full disclosure, I worked as a Fox News correspondent in Washington nearly 20 years ago. Things were not always great back then, but through the years, Fox News has become far worse. By throwing out basic journalistic responsibilities and masquerading entertainment as news, Fox has literally convinced tens of millions of Americans that our governmental institutions and medical scientists cannot be trusted. And never mind the pandemic. When you think about other challenges facing us, including climate change, mass shootings, the growing wealth gap, extremism, all of this is nearly impossible to solve because nearly half of the country's population and political representatives, guided by Fox News, refuse to accept basic facts and logic. Now, Rupert Murdoch is 90 years old, and there's a theory that when his son Lachlan takes over, Fox News will become more moderate. Forget about it. Lachlan is uh, more, more right-wing than his father, uh, more extreme, and uh, he, I think... The, the bottom line is they enjoy the power. The idea that Fox could divide America even more is disturbing, but it's music to the ears of Vladimir Putin's Russia. Indeed, clearly Russia doesn't need the KGB in America causing problems when America has Fox News.